Now, God knows that you need this thing, whatever it is. So why isn't he answering? Doesn't he care about you? Doesn't he know that you need him to come through on this? A few weeks ago, I mentioned how I was obsessively watching these shows on YouTube where it shows like CCTV or people breaking into people's homes or their businesses and then being caught on camera. And it was kind of out of the blue. It was really weird. Last week, when I came out of my house, my neighbors were freaking out because both houses on either side of me were broken into. And in the past, the neighbor who is right across the street from me, their house has also been broken into. So why is it that my house has been skipped over? God will put things on your heart to pray about or to be extra vigilant about. And I believe that he was putting on my heart to be extra vigilant and pray for protection over my house. But it got me thinking, why do I need to pray for something that seems so obvious that I need? Of course, nobody wants their home broken into. Of course, I need protection for my house. So why do I need to constantly pray about it? Why do I constantly need to ask God to watch over me and put his hand over me and my home. So it got me reading the Bible. And what I found out was, is that God wants you to persist with your prayers. Pray always. And the more time you spend in prayer, the more you are susceptible to hearing God's word or what God wants to say to you. When you spend time with somebody, you know them, you become more familiar with them. So God wants you to spend time in prayer with him always. And he wants you to petition him for things. He says that he will give good gifts to his children, just like the pagans give good gifts to theirs. God wants you to spend time with him. He doesn't want you to be like somebody where they just come out of the woodwork, you haven't spoken to them in forever. Like, for example, especially on social media, haven't talked to people in forever. And then all of a sudden, they will subscribe or friend or like something on one of your social media posts. And it's just like, why are you reaching out to me? Like, what is it that you want? Because we don't have a relationship Like we used to, or I know of you, but we don't have that relationship. So what's up? Usually it's just that they want more subscribers. They want you to follow back or whatever. And nobody likes to be used for that reason. Oh, the only reason they're reaching out is because they want something. It's not because they want to develop a relationship or rekindle things, rekindle that friendship. And that's how God is. God knows we want more subscribers or followers or whatever, like those people. But... If you don't have a relationship with him, he's kind of like, unless you ask me, unless you come to me, I'm not going to interfere in your life. If you don't want me in your life, then I won't. He doesn't want you to just be there like, oh, I want nothing to do with God. But now all of a sudden when I need something, that's the only time I come around. No, God wants a relationship with you always and he hears you. So why is it that God is not answering your prayer. It seems to be within God's will. And it seems like something that God should do for you if that if he's a good father. So why is it that he's not answering your prayer? In the book of James chapter four, verse three, it says, when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. God knows what you need before you even ask it, but he also knows your heart and he's not just going to start, you know, making it rain on you. That's not his job. If he's a good father, it would not be prudent of him to just start showering you with money. There's other times where he's not going to give you everything because if you know a child who's been given everything that they ask for, they've never had to work for anything, Those are usually the kids with no empathy, no work ethic, and they're the ones shooting up drugs, blowing their money. So what God wants you to do is persist in prayer so that you'll either 
be more in tuned with the will of God and start asking for things that are in line with his will, or you're just going to drop off. Okay, I didn't get it, so now I'm just going to bounce. It weeds out the people who are asking for the wrong motives. If you're persistent, God is listening, and the more you persist and the more time you spend in prayer, the more you get in line with God's will. And that's what he wants. He wants to see, is this something that you want or do you want what my will is more than what you want? Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to mature so that the things that you ask start to change over time as you patiently wait on him to respond? Now, I remember years ago, I got really upset with God. And, you know, if you've never had a fight with God, I just want to know, do you even have a relationship with him? Because we argue with the ones that we love. Now, there's only so far I'll go because God can wipe me out in four seconds. But I was really upset with God. And this is the only time in my life that I've been upset with God. And I was praying for something to change with a person in my life. This person who was supposedly a Christian did something to me that completely crushed me, humiliated me. And I kept praying for God to change how this person was acting towards me. But the more I prayed about it, the more I realized that I was wrong. And what I was asking for was not good for me. And what I wanted God to do would most likely not be in line with his will. And his will was for me not to have anything to do with this person anymore. Like our paths would not cross anymore. And that's what God wanted. So um, persistence in prayer showed me that what I was asking for was wrong and that I needed to grow up and just, you know, peace out to this person. And that's what God wants to see is us maturing and us having to deal with the trials that make us more mature in Christ so that we can handle the good gifts that God is going to give us. Because God is not just going to make it rain and everything's great in your life because trials and tribulation and having to work for things makes you a mature person so that you are more apt to handle the re responsibilities that God is going to give you. Think about like why you want what you're asking for. Now, if you're praying for healing or you're praying for money or something like that, think about why. Is it just because you want the pain to stop or you want to have an easier life? Or is it because you want to glorify God? Now, even Paul asked God to take away a physical pain. He said it was a thorn, a messenger from Satan, and he asked three times and God would not take it away. So he had a physical ailment that he prayed for healing for and God refused. I'm going to pause it right here because God did not answer Paul's prayer to take away this thorn in his side because he had just been given all of these revelations. And if everything was perfect for Paul, it would have gone to his head. So sometimes these hardships keep you from being conceited. And it keeps you from saying like, wow, I'm actually, I'm so fabulous. I'm so great. I'm doing it all on my own instead of recognizing that everything you have, all these good things are because of God and God's providence. He wants us to use the things that he gives us in a responsible way so that it will further the kingdom. It's not so that we can have a great life here on earth so that we can just be balling. No, the whole reason God gives us good gifts is because he loves us and he wants to increase the kingdom of God here on earth. He wants to have a relationship with more people here on earth. And, you know, you're just not a good parent if you give in to all the whims and demands of your children. And it's the same for God. God always takes care of us, but he also wants us to grow up. And he's not going to make it rain on you until you are in line with God's will. And that is what we want. We want his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. So just something to think about. And I will see you on Monday. I want you to like, subscribe, and share. 
Talk to you later.